Alright, I'm finally back with another video, and this time we're going to show you how to control your PS3 from your Zoom with an app that I use called Blue Put Droid. Now you can download this from the market. It's all one word, Blue Put Droid. Um, there's a free version and a pro version. For The pro version is 209, but I mean, it doesn't do anything extra, so you know, really no point. I mean, unless you want to support, as always. Um, first of all, <clears throat> I'm on 411, running EOS Nightly 129. Now, let's go. Stay still, it's a little shaky as usual. To the PS3. <clears throat> First thing you would need to do is pair the Zoom with the PS3 or Bluetooth. So you would, on your PS3 you would go to Settings, Accessory Settings, Manage Bluetooth Devices. And right here, I mean you kind of see my Zoom as an option, but when you're first doing this, if you haven't done it already, you're going to go down to Register New Device, you're going to go to your Zoom. You're going to go to your settings, Bluetooth, turn it on, and then if you go, <coughs> well, you stay right here, you can uh, make your zoom visible, you tap, tap that button and your zoom will be discoverable by other things, you go over your PS3 and on the bottom, you would hit register new device, and then your PS3 will search. It'll find your zoom, and then you can pair it. And now I'll turn. I'll try and connect here. Okay. You just need to operate it. All right. So I'm back over here. <coughs> My zoom is already paired. So we're gonna open up the app. Now this does require root access for it to work. Now you've already seen that I got when it first started up it's just gonna be gray. You know, nothing on here. You'll have to pick the one you're gonna pair. So mine's already on here. Oh, we're gonna hit this button up here. Loop it joy is running. It's doing a search automatically when I turn it on for my PS3, which is already there. Because I have that one set as default. You can make any one, you know, if you have more than one thing here, you can set whichever one you want as default for when you turn it on. <clears throat> so when you come on, you're going to have this green screen. Now that's going to act like a mouse pad. Let's see if I can get both of them there. that up. There we go. I'll do my thing over there. there we go. So that I'll move that around. And we can get rid of the keyboard. Stay on. Or you hit this arrow over here in the left corner, in the right corner. You're gonna get these options. You have this little keyboard option over here. Tap that. You get default keyboard, which brings up default keyboard. You got custom. Uh, you got custom keyboard, which brings up fun function keys F1 through F12 you don't need those and then you got 6 axis which brings up the D-pad start and select and the four face buttons just no uh, no triggers no PS button so if I can I don't have to come back over here at least now if we tap this we can move around you know, left to right up and down you can do you can push X Messages, circle to go back, triangle for your options on the messages, you know, cycle through those. And at the same time, let me sign in real quick. If I go to, I'll just pick her for now. We go over to create message. 
hit X on the message. Over here, hit default keyboard. And now, oh, well, just so you know, a tap on the pad is a, you know, a left mouse click, and double tap is a right mouse click. I mean, if you have to do it. <clears throat> but we're going to hit default keyboard twice, because one's going to bring up the mouse pad. And now, if you wanted to send a message, you could just type it out. Not too bad. It comes in handy. You know, if you got your controller set to auto off, you know, my tablet's always next to me, so it helps out a little bit. So, we go back to 6-axis. Cancel that. And there you go. I mean, you know, oh, well, it's not going to, you know, you're not going to be able to really function playing any games with it. So, you know, I wouldn't really bother with that. But... That you can go through like Netflix, or you know, if you got you know Music Unlimited or the PlayStation Store, let's open that up too. Now you can cycle through all these. Buddy up there. Here we go now. <clears throat> you can go through Netflix, you know, you sit back and pick your show. It's all gonna work just the same, you know. It's pretty handy. You know, you wouldn't be able to quit. The only way, the only way I'd be able to quit, is if I got my controller and actually use the PS button. That'll let me quit. There we go. We're back, and there you go. That's about it. If you got any questions or anything, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'll put a link to the app. See y'all later.